In the dim glow of the moon, the abandoned hospital loomed like a spectral sentinel. Its windows shattered, its walls coated with the decay of neglect. It stood silent and eerie against the backdrop of the night, a place where shadows danced with malevolent intent. Yet despite the warnings whispered by the wind, I found myself drawn to its haunted halls. Fueled by a morbid curiosity, it seemed to override my rational instincts. As I stepped through the broken entrance, a chill crept up my spine, wrapping me in its icy embrace. The air hung heavy with the scent of mold and decay, and every creak and groan echoed through the empty corridors like a symphony of the damned. My footsteps seemed to reverberate with a sense of foreboding, each one a hesitant testament to my growing unease. I pressed forward, my flashlight casting trembling beams of light that danced across the peeling walls and shattered remnants of furniture. Shadows flickered and danced in the corners of my vision, and I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched by unseen eyes. The beds, rusted and decrepit, lay in disarray, their mattresses stained with red patches that I dared not imagine the origin of. And on the walls, written in what appeared to be dried blood, were the chilling words, help. As I ventured deeper into the bowels of the hospital, a sense of dread settled over me like a suffocating shroud. It was then that I heard it, the faint whisper of voices echoing from the darkness. I froze, my heart pounding in my chest as I strained to make out the words. Help us. The voice was barely more than a whisper, but it sent shivers racing down my spine. I turned, my flashlight trembling in my trembling hand, but there was nothing there, only the empty expanse of the hallway stretching out before me. I tried to dismiss it as my imagination running wild, but the feeling of being watched persisted, growing more intense with each passing moment. Shadows seemed to twist and contort, taking on sinister shapes that danced just beyond the reach of my feeble light. And then, suddenly, the temperature plummeted, plunging the hallway into an icy darkness that seemed to seep into my bones. I shivered, my breath misting in the frigid air, as a sense of overwhelming dread washed over me. As I stood frozen in terror, the figure before me seemed to materialize from the very shadows themselves. Her form was shrouded in darkness, a swirling mass of ebony that seemed to defy the laws of nature. Her eyes twin orbs of malevolent light burned with an otherworldly intensity that sent tendrils of fear snaking through my mind. As she drew closer, I could feel the chill of her presence washing over me, sending shivers racing down my spine. Her lips curled into a twisted smile, revealing rows of gleaming teeth that seemed to glint in the dim light. I tried to tear my gaze away, to flee from this nightmare incarnate, but I found myself rooted to the spot, unable to move as she drifted towards me with an almost ethereal grace. Each movement was slow and deliberate, as if she savored the terror that gripped me like a fine wine. I wanted to run to flee from this nightmare come to life, but my legs refused to move. I was rooted to the spot, helpless in the face of this spectral apparition that seemed intent on claiming my soul. And then, with a sudden burst of movement, she was upon me, her icy fingers wrapping around my throat in a vice-like grip. I gasped for air, choking on the foul stench of death that surrounded her as darkness closed in around me. And then, mercifully, everything went black. When I awoke, I found myself lying on the cold floor of the abandoned hospital, my heart still pounding in my chest. For a moment, I thought it had all been a terrible dream, a figment of my overactive imagination. But then I saw the faint imprint of icy fingers wrapped around my throat, and I knew that the horrors of this place were all too real. I stumbled to my feet, the echoes of that chilling encounter still ringing in my ears, and fled from the hospital as if the very hounds of hell were at my heels. But try as I might, I could never escape the memory of that night, the night I dared to explore the abandoned hospital 